Oh, look at the jellyfish coming like they're gonna scare us. Haha, <laughs> you don't scare me anymore, fools. Hey, Geeks Rally here, and also in front of me. <laughs> That's how I spawned in, and I fell out of the sky. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I got some weird teleport, but this, hey, this is what that corpse locator thing that's built in is supposed to look like now. Uh, I found, it sounds like when your body is gone, then the beam goes away. So, like, if you were attacked by a bunch of stuff and got killed, and it ate your body, you wouldn't see the beam anymore. But if your body, you know, maintains, you, you, you get this, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's too fun. I gotta get a screenshot. This is better from laying down. Oh, this is great. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get our stuff back. Can I? Can I just have all that, please? Maybe. Oh, I'm clicking the button. Come on. I would. Could I? I can't even get my stuff back. All right. Well, I think. Uh, I think we have Corpse Finder on this. Yeah, we do. We have Corpse Finder, so I'm going to get myself a stone. <laughs> I just can't. It's just too funny. So, that makes me worry, though, that... Well, Jericho and Andy are down there. Why would I be way up in the air when I spawned in? Like, I was way up there, and I just fell down to my death. But the birds are both down inside the silo. Alright, well, what are you going to do? So, I think what we're going to try today... Is that, oh, it goes underneath you, too? Alright, once I get past some feats here... I think what we're going to try today is... I think we're going to go look into the depths some more. Um, if I... You know, if I find something decent to tame up, like a baryonyx or an anglerfish, I'm going to try that. Uh, but, I mean, right now the goal really is just to kind of go see what's out there. Because, you know, we'll at least have some chance of surviving. Um, now that we've got... Uh, herb. Are you down there, Herb? Now I'm worried that, like, things are disappearing. Hope you're down there. All right, well, we'll find out. So, uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a corpse finder here. And I know that we don't really need that because the corpse is there, but one of the other things it does is it actually pulls your bag to the surface, and even though we don't need it taken to the surface, I'm hoping that it'll, it'll bring our, like, make it so we can actually access our stuff because for some reason I couldn't do that. Ooh. Oh, okay. We're just playing leapfrog here. It's fine. Can I? Oh, ladder. There, okay. Nope. Um, nope. I'm on it. I'm off it. I'm on it. Off it. Okay. <laughs> There's too many dinos. The silo was never made for this many dinos. <laughs> okay. Can I get to it now? No. Did it pull? Oh, oh, it just added all the stuff to me because I was close by. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, I put our stuff back on. All right, so we've got some extra stuff we picked up while we were out and about. This is a specimen I don't need anymore. Uh, and I can get up this stuff. I've been keeping the, uh, the sparkler skins. Oh, I didn't put my helmet on. Where is my helmet? I don't have a helmet. I have no helmet. All right, so... Yeah, I, like I said, we're going to go see about getting into the water again. And, uh, I don't know, we're just going to explore a little bit, I think. See what we can find out there. Well, I've decided that because of our recent adventures, I'm going to go relatively naked. I brought, uh, my scuba, which is not really doing great. Uh, and I have my fins. So we're going to use those, uh, and see if, we, if we'll be okay. <laughs> so this is where Herb is parked. I guess I should probably put this on right now. Look a little weird swimming around here, but that's fine. Herb's got some levels. He's got some good health, so let's go ahead and do a little melee. I'm gonna just kind of get rolling here. Now, I think actually what I'll do is that I'll get up to the surface here. And I'm gonna take off the scuba because as you wear it, it gets worse. So that at least will give me um, a little longer, hopefully before I have to do anything crazy with it. Um, I think I can repair it, but I have to go to a fabricator to do that, and I don't have a fabricator. So I might swing by to do that, just so we can go out and kind of do some checking. Uh, I'd like to go back over, though, to the... Uh... Okay, I'm still getting oxygen. I'd like to go back over to that shipwreck that we saw, 
where Fox and I died, just to kind of see how everything looks over there, because it looked pretty cool. Uh, and I just want to I want to see what's going on. So I think that's where we're gonna head first. Um, yeah, I might hit a fabricator first, and then we'll go from there. So I'll bring you guys back once we get either to those reefs, or if we go over to, um, if we end up going over towards the bunker, we'll go out. There's, it looks like there's some crystal formations out there that'd be kind of cool to check out too. So we're gonna head that direction now. I'll bring you guys back once we're out there. Well, luckily these guys are pretty tanky because they seem to attract a lot of sharks. There's another Bacillosaurus over there. I was trying to see what level that was when all these guys just came out of nowhere. This is actually the sixth set of sharks that I've killed. So it looks like this one's dying slowly. But yeah, so we've got a pretty good amount of health here on Herb, so it's not too bad as long as I don't get mobbed. I was hoping that I could pump speed and kind of make it be pretty fast down here, but it gains like 1% for every... Uh, I was 145. I wonder that took forever. So it only, he only gains like 1% of movement speed. So it's 101, 102. So that's pretty rough. I think that stamina is probably a better option for us because we can sprint longer that way. Uh, and it seems like this guy goes through food pretty fast. So I've been just kind of pumping the food up. Or not pumping, like just making sure I stop to get a bunch of food, which the sharks are helping with. So. All right. So I don't know how deep again we can go over here without getting hurt so we're gonna try to be a little careful I just kind of wanted to see we're not even close to the trench yet this should be the swamps right here uh, off to our left hand side looks like we got a dead end here right yeah dead end okay so oh, oh I'm taking damage right there so that is deeper than I can go so this is about the depth I'm gonna have to stick at for us to kind of check some stuff out down here which hopefully will be okay at the trench because I don't know and we're definitely not fast enough to outswim something like a um, like the Mosasaur or the Pleasy. So <laughs> I'm kind of hoping we don't see any of those guys either because it would suck to lose another sea creature. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. It's really cool, though, seeing these big honking pieces of ground just kind of like reach up out of nowhere. <laughs> the Ragnarok does it a good job. It just creeps out of visibility, which makes it look really cool. And then those are, it looks like, oral and silica pearls. So, yeah, I think that I'm going to just kind of keep going here, guys. I want to try to get us back over towards the trench. I don't know if this is the mouth of the trench or not, but I'd like to head over back towards that direction and then maybe see about getting ourselves an anglerfish because those guys don't have a depth restriction. I have to be careful of electrical stuff, but they are a lot faster, too. So... That's going to be the goal, I think, today, is hopefully to down ourselves a uh, an anglerfish and grab one of those guys. It'll give us two means of transport in the water that should be pretty, pretty resilient and pretty good. So I'm going to head over towards where I think the trench is, and I'll bring you guys back once we get over that direction. Oh, I can't even tell you how much pleasure I take in destroying these things now. Come here, guys. You want some of this? Come on at me. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Plus, on the blend on the other side, we get a ton of biotoxin, which will be great once we get to the point that... Oh, that was a 150. Once we get to the point that we can make some of the other darts, uh, that'll be great to have all that. Plus, this is really good. Biotoxin is great, great uh, narcotic replacement because it's more powerful. Oh, uh, yeah. Did I even have to worry about you guys shocking me? <laughs> it's perfect. Now, let's see how much biotoxin we just picked up, too. Look at that. 269 just from that little group. Alright, we're going to keep doing stamina here. So, I think that we're in the mouth of Trench. And I'm... Let's go ahead and dive a little bit. I think we're pretty close to our max depth with this guy, too. Well, we can get pretty low. But yeah, there it is right there. That's the max depth. See, we're taking damage. It's flashing up in the corner. Still taking damage. Still taking damage. Okay, so this is about as deep as we get to go with this guy. I wanted to see if I could find what the black pearls look like, but if we're this high, I don't know if we're going to be able to see that here. So we're just going to kind of stick to this height and take a look. And like I said, we're going to look for some angler fish. A manta wouldn't be too bad either. They're pretty fast too. They don't get, like, it doesn't show any lights down here, but they are really fast. Uh, we need angler gel for that anyway, so we have to eat some anglers to do that. Oh, man, this is just really cool down here. I really, like, 
the water stuff is awesome. I, I wish it wasn't so, so hard sometimes, you know, like there's just so much required to kind of make this work down here, but it is really cool. Okay, so this, the trench might drop underneath us here, and we can't grill too much lower. So I'm not sure what height we were at when we saw that pirate ship. So we're going to kind of just circle about here a little bit and see. I, you know, we're going to kind of follow one of the walls here. Let's see what we can find out here. Oh, I'm taking damage. So I, 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 div I apparently went down deeper than I meant to just there. Okay. Okay. So we got Megalodons and Snidari or whatever they're called, the Jellyfish Doom. This is a cool little underwater island over here. Hello, shark. Come here. Yeah, we, you know what? We might as have a little snack. It's fine. Manta's up there too. All right, I can't. Yeah, okay, I'm hitting them. The hard thing with these fish is it's hard to tell if you're hitting them or not, you know. But we're good. We got them. Oh, look at the jellyfish coming like they're gonna scare us. Haha, <laughs> you don't scare me anymore, fools. Just keep on killing stuff. I haven't killed one of the jelly. There we go. Okay, Snidaria, Sindar. Okay, jellyfish of doom. Oh, these guys are getting some licks in here. A 145, almost a max level. So it's got a good area of effect here, but I'm too close to really be doing a ton of damage. Can I move on out of here? Okay, we'll just do a little circle, circle here going back for these guys there we go much better good job herb good job herb we're hitting you right shark I have to watch for the blood on the shark to tell if I'm actually hitting him or not but half health or half stamina so that's not too bad after just a, a bunch of this so far good for now all right we're good for now and then, like I said, he makes a bunch of oil, too. I, I wonder if 20 is the max he makes. I'll just take it off, and we'll see if he starts remaking more. Might as well take the biotoxin, too. Nice. Okay. Anglerfish. I don't know if I'm going to find any anglerfish at the height I can go. But we're definitely going to try. <laughs> well, guys, I've got bad news. I can't get deep enough to actually find... Oh, that's great. The water looks real crazy right now. Uh, I can't get deep enough to find um, the anglerfish at all. Like, I'm over top of some of that stuff right now. Like, I know that, like, the trench, the, there's a deep part of the water right here underneath me. And I can see the kind of kelp with the glowing parts on it. But I can't get deep enough to actually get to an anglerfish, I don't think. So, I've, I kind of surfaced back up because my, my O2 is only at about half now. I've, I've got about half that tank left. Ooh. This is real weird right now with this water. Um, and we should be getting pretty close to, I think, where the uh, development border is. I know we can go through it on our server because we've actually set it up that way, but... Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if I can get deep enough for us to even see an anglerfish, guys. So, like, here's some of the kelp. But, like, the kelp that has the glowy stuff is where we first started seeing anglers. So, as low as I've been able to get so far, I've only seen mantas and uh, sharks. So, I don't know if, if maybe I can get lucky and an angler or two will pop their heads up above where they normally would be at. But, the, oh. That's just regular fish. So... Like, I've been trying to get down there to see. So this, hopefully this will be another one of the kelp parts that has some of the glowy stuff in it. So I can show you what I'm talking about. Nope, this is regular kelp. So some of this kelp will kind of have, like, the glowy orbs in it. And that's, I think, where we start to see anglerfish. That's where we saw them at least when uh, Fox and I came out. And every time I get close to the depth I need to for that is when it starts getting hurt. And I think we have to go down into that to be able to see uh, anglerfish. So I'm going to keep going that direction. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about, the, the glowy bits here. 
See now this is just regular. And see we just see we're just seeing sharks and stuff down here, you know? But we'll get down a little farther and I'll show you I think we're pretty close to where the damage level is again. Yeah, see there's the damage level. And there's no glory kelp here. So we have to go lower than this to get to where we can actually find an anglerfish, I think. So I'm gonna keep going. I just wanted to kinda let you guys in that I'm a little worried we may we might not be able to even get close to an anglerfish because of how uh, how far down these guys are able to go. Uh, which just might mean we have to find a different way to do this. I, I was really hoping to pull one of those off today, but we'll see. Well, I think that's it, guys. My scuba tank's almost done. I had a fully repaired scuba tank, and it's almost gone. I've been searching. We just can't get deep enough. So these guys are going to be great for us to get some of the uh, the basic stuff we need to be able to uh, continue. I guess we can take off the scuba tank at this point. You can see it's almost dead. So this will be good to get us kind of the basic stuff we need to get biotoxin and stuff, but uh, they just can't go deep enough for us to be able to actually go in and, uh, and see what we want. I mean, you can see we've gone a pretty far away. So, <laughs> so I'm going to head back towards... Uh, I'm going to head back towards the silo, uh, and I think that's going to be it, unfortunately. I mean, we got to explore a little bit, which is cool. I just was really hoping we could kind of get deep enough to maybe get an anglerfish. So that means that we're going to have to take another step forward with uh, the ichthys or something else again to get anglerfish uh, and see if we can just get them separated far enough to do it. We'll have to just be tactful and avoid all the crazy Sindarias. Uh, we could probably take one of these guys with us to help out for some of that stuff. Uh, but for us to get what we need to to get an angler fish, I think we have to go a little deeper. So I'm not giving up. We're gonna find ourselves a dolphin, I think. Uh, so monkey puzzle buddy, I'm over at your base. I owe you some materials. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I just borrowed a little bit here, so I gotta get this uh, tank back up and running. Uh, you know what I can do for you, monkey? I can definitely give you some of the. Uh, I put that stuff in here. Let's give you some of this stuff here. Because I'm not even a high enough level to use this stuff yet. So we'll give you some of that there. I actually put my uh, bacilla oil over here. So it can uh, make up some gas for you. To make up for the stuff I just borrowed. Buddy, I hope you're okay with this. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, monkey. This is monkey's base, by the way. If you haven't watched his videos, you're being silly. Go watch him. He's got some really cool stuff he's doing here. I really like And I know that he's been kind of thinking, like, you know, he had to redo the fence after our, our extra arc issue. Uh, but it looks great, man. All right, I'm going to go see if I can find an ichthy. I, I don't know if I'm going to get an anglerfish this episode or not, but at least I can get some ichthys so the next time we're ready to go out in the water, we can see about go, whoa, whoa, rubber band. So once we get back out in the water again, hopefully after this, we'll at least have a way for us to get uh, the anglerfish. So that's the next goal. We're going to see about finding ourselves some more ichthys. We'll tame up a couple of them so we have some spear rides in case we lose one. <laughs> and then we'll come back. Okay, I found two good specimens. It's a 135 and a 145, I believe. We got some cooked mutton from our adventures of trying to tame this guy. So let's go ahead. We'll put you on follow herb. And then, oh, let's I could just. You guys are quick even with my stuff on. Huh? A little closer. Uh, come here, buddy. Come on. Even with fins on. It's hard to get to these guys. Uh, uh, uh. Quit dodging. Quit dodging me. Hey, hey. Okay, you're taming. Alright. Let's go get this one, too. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, uh, that one must not have been the one I thought it was. Level 22. <laughs> That's not the one I was looking for. Where'd the other one go then? That's all right. We need. We'll take that one too. Are you ready? Okay. It must have been you and a different one then. Oh, there we go. It must be this one. You guys ready for food yet? Okay. Look, you can stop following me, little guy. I'll tell you what, you can stay here too, Herb. Where'd they go? Where'd the other ones go? Oh, there's a lead over there. This must be one of them. Come back here. Don't swim away so far. 
I got food for you. Are you ready? Sure. Oh. I don't know if you're hungry yet or not. I think it said wait until hungry again, okay. Where's the other one at? Alright, I'll bring you guys back once these guys are tamed up, hopefully. <laughs> oh, I found the other one that died. Oh, I hate when this happens. Okay, I got it tamed up. And then a stupid shark came for me. Get away from my ictates. Oh, uh, get him, Herb, get him! Yes, good job, Herb, good job. Okay. Alright. So we've got a 217 now, which is awesome. Okay. Herb, let's get you some more stamina, buddy. So now we just have to get back to base. And I don't know where we're at, so let's look. Can I get off you here? Oh, we shouldn't be too far away. Okay. So... I just gotta get these guys back safely. That's that's the goal. Let's get back safely. We're pretty close to where we need to be. Did you guys get me stuck? Don't get me stuck here. Ooh, they are fast. The 22 is hilarious. I'm gonna call you shark bait. Ooh, ah, uh -uh. Okay, so I'm gonna get these guys back. And then next episode, probably, we might see about Fox joining us again. So in the next episode Fox and I can do, we're going to see about going back to the depths maybe. Or maybe I'll do it myself. We'll find out. Let's get some anglerfish though. I think that's the next step for us as we continue our undersea adventures here on Ragnarok. So if you guys have enjoyed the episode, please feel free to drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content. And I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>